What's up guys? I'm super excited that I got this box. In fact, I haven't been this excited about a box oh, since last time Primetime Toys sent me some stuff. Now, last time it was a whole lot of dart blasters and just one of their ball blasters that they've been working on. And now we got a whole lot more ball blasters. Uh, we actually have a very nice letter from Natalie over at Dart Zone saying, we hope you have a blast with Dart Zone's new products. Don't worry, the fun won't stop as this is all just a taste of the things to come later this year. So stay tuned. I am so excited about what else might be coming out. So in this box, we've got the Accelerator, uh, which is uh, supposed to be like a Zeus compare, a comparable to a Zeus. It is a Strife pusher with rival flywheels and has a quite large hopper, actually. And if we open this up, can see that pusher going. These flywheels are quite beefy looking and looks like we get quite a few rounds with it. I am very excited. In fact, we get 25 uh, tactical strike rounds. I like that they call them tactical strike. That just sounds a little bit better. So after that, that comes in at uh, 30 United States dollars, which is actually a really good deal in my opinion for what you're getting. Uh, coming in at a little over $16, uh, $17, the Titanium, which looks like quite the uh, pump action ball blaster. I'm, I'm going to bet that this thing will be better with a stock, but it's going to feel a little bit more like a shotgun. Now, all these blasters have these removable tags so that you can be on whatever team you want. Now, of course, Team Red and Team Blue, but I feel like they did this just for me, guys. We got Team Green. So you know my favorite color is green. So we've got Team Green, which I think we're going to be sticking with most of the time because green is the best color, scientifically provable. And then clocking in at, let's see, $10, we have the Tactical Strike. Uh, huh. Oh, that because that's French. Okay. I thought I had a stroke for a second, guys. Uh, no, this is just a, a face mask. Of course, Team Red, Blue, and Green. So we have our Team Choice design, Red Squad, Green Squad, Blue Squad. This is just a really, really cool tactical mask. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. It is very comparable to the Rival, uh, the Rival masks, and that's because it's just a good design. I do like that they have interchangeable mouth plates though. That is really, really cool. And then again at $10, 50 rounds. That is a good deal. You cannot find for $10, you can't really find outside of, uh, outside of something like Headshot, you can't find good rival balls for a decent price. Uh, first party balls being, you know, the rival and these tactical strike rounds this is a great deal already can tell you this is this is the unsung hero uh, if you have if you have to get some rival balls and you got to get them now and you got to get them cheap this is going to be the way to go these things fly great i love them looks like the quality has not suffered uh these are just they're my favorite balls what can i say i like these balls so man i don't know guys I've got some D batteries sitting out here, which is what this accelerator takes. I think we're just going to get right into it. I can't wait. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy open. There we go. And one more. Now, of course, we are inside because it is freaking cold outside. So this is still compatible with rival mags which is a good choice, but you have this large hopper uh, up here, which honestly could be expanded if you, uh, if you wanted to. Now, Brian has gone ahead, uh, Buff Daddy Nerf has gone ahead and done some experimenting, and apparently this will take to the Nerf Rival, um, the Rival rechargeable battery quite well. It's actually designed to accept it, which I think is a an interesting design choice. Actually, let me see something. So if we gotta pop this off to do that. I wonder 
This is from my chaos. I think this will just pop in there. Oh, that is interesting. That sure does just fit in there flawlessly. That's a, that's a smart design choice just in the compatible with Nerf gear. Um, it looks like these faux Picatinny rails might work with some of the Nerf. Wow, this thing is kind of back heavy now. Um, definitely is not for the... It does go in that way. Ooh, listen to those motors purr. All right, let's at least uh, destroy the packaging. Um, let's at least get the instruction manual and get the other side cheeks out of here. Oops. Oh, we got another rail that goes somewhere. We'll figure this out. We'll take a look at the instructions to see where it goes. Oh, it's a sight! Don't mind me, I'm just sitting on a box that I shouldn't be. Okay, so we have an interesting sight that goes on the side, it looks like. Which is actually kind of smart. That is actually pretty cool. This slides on here, I take it. Yes, no, yes. Maybe it slides on like this. Yes, no, yes. Yes. That's actually pretty interesting. I wonder if it will feed well that way. So let's go ahead and crack these open. I did not bring out my gigantic knife from Crazy Uncle Rob. Uh, did not think I would need it for this unboxing. Honestly, didn't think I was going to do the unboxing this soon. I thought we were just going to look at the box or look at the products, but man, I just got too excited. I couldn't wait until Christmas Day to open my Christmas presents, guys. I realize it's far past Christmas. Alrighty, let's get these balls out, get them in the hopper, and get them down range. I guess today we're shooting at a uh, at a snowblower because it is. Still very much snowy up here in Northwest Ohio. It's been reaching negatives pretty consistently. I'm not happy because I'm very much a uh, warm weather individual. Mm, they smell like rival balls. They, they have a very unique scent, guys. If, you think I'm crazy, it's just because you haven't smelled any rival balls fresh out of the package. All right, let's go ahead and rev it up, and now let's go ahead and use this sight. All right. We'll go ahead and stand up and launch a few right into our target over here. Gotta wiggle it a bit. Alright, this rev trigger is actually really clicky and really nice. This has sufficient power. I'm actually very pleased with this. The rev, the, the down, the time that it takes to uh, rev down is actually really short. Kind of like that. I really like this blaster. This is really cool. For 30 bucks, you get a rival competitive blaster that lets you swap out what team you're on. And uh, it comes with a hopper, compatible with rival magazines. You could very easily just use rival mags to speed load this. It has a little sight on the side, which, work or not, it's kind of cool. And it's just a strife on the inside. Like, you really can't go wrong with this. The strife is quantifiably the best platform and we've made a rival one this is fantastic i i think this one is a solid do get it my friends i'm excited to try to turn this into full auto because i've got an extra hooligan kit laying around and i think i can get this thing to just be a beast of a full auto rival blaster so that's been my review of the adventure force uh 
accelerator powered by PTDZ. Huh, we'll figure out what that means later on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys continue to support both my content and the, uh, the blasters uh, from Dart Zone as a whole. Recently, YouTube has made some changes, and a lot of channels are no longer going to be able to make money, let alone turn a profit, and that's just a real shame. Um, I, of course, love you guys and, uh, and wish, th wish the best for you guys. I hope that you wish the best for me in the, uh, the coming weeks and months of this YouTube over, overturn, as it seems, the, the cutting of the chaff, chaff chafe something they're getting rid of a lot of unnecessary stuff and by that i mean people and it's very sad so be sure to subscribe uh check out some of these other videos and of course have a great day wherever you are